Ben Betty for BCMA.com. I'm here with Darren Owen and Jason Hyde, both owners of AFC Fighting Championships. And they have a show coming up next week. How are you feeling, guys? Tired. Tired? Yeah. A lot of work? A lot of work. I've seen a lot of press releases coming out in the last couple of weeks. You guys have Sarah Kaufman side now on a multi-fight deal with you guys? Uh, single fight right now. Uh, it's still a straight course. They've given her permission to take a fight outside the organization. So yeah, we're gonna rock this fight and uh, see what happens from there. All right, who do you have as an opponent for her? She's fighting Megumi Yamashita. All right, so Sarah Kaufman, you guys had to bring in Megumi from Japan to fight her. And uh, who else do you guys have on that card? Um, the main event is Nick Dragnaut Hinchliffe. He is fighting uh, Brian McCann from uh, Jason McDonald's gym yeah. in um, uh, Red Deal. And then uh, David Showtime Braun out of Vancouver had a very impressive knockout victory. His last fight with us is fighting a uh, very tough Andrew Gauntlet okay. out, of, uh, out of Calgary. And uh, the rising star Derek Mendler, um, Nick Hinchley, uh, Nick Drieger also fighting from the world, uh, Chris Jones starting out of off. Yeah, that, that's a good fight for sure. Yeah, stacked fight card as usual on AFC. Uh, that's coming up next weekend here. Now, Jason, you were supposed to fight on the last AFC, and unfortunately, your opponent backed out, never showed up from Toronto. What was that about? Uh, he just didn't feel good. Didn't feel good after making weight. Um, not that anybody I know feels good after making weight, but uh, yeah, he was he was ill and uh, just didn't feel he was uh, able to perform. And uh, unfortunately, uh, I didn't get to compete. Any other opportunities for us to see you compete coming up soon? You know, right now, as much as I'd love to love to compete, uh, my conditioning is kind of suffering due to the workload that uh, the AFC is uh, is putting on me, um, and I don't want to compete being out of shape. So it's it's gonna I'm gonna have to delay a little bit right now. Right. Now you always see guys like uh, Mark Kaplan, other guys that say that running a MMA promotion is a 13 hour a day job. Oh yeah, it's it's it dust till dawn and then on top of that trying to get uh, two days in for workouts. It's, it's just not enough hours in the day. Now having the two of you kind of help uh, manage the company, does that help take off some of the workload you guys? Oh yeah, Derek, Derek is a fantastic partner in the business. He's, he's doing a great job with it. Uh, he's got his finger on the pulse for, for everything that's going on. Um, but it's a big, big workload. Like we need, we need more employees. You know, we need, we need a bigger budget. We're, uh, you know, we've got a lot on our plate right now with the growth of the organization, especially with the, you know, the, the Dragons Den airing. Yeah, I want to talk about the Dragons Den. That was a long time ago. The, the episode was shot, right? That was yeah. at the beginning of AFC, was it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, our second event. Okay. And uh, we're on to our fifth event now. So yeah, it's been uh, lots, lots of time has passed since then, and uh, the, the company's continuing to grow. The fans have shown us tremendous support and uh, yeah I mean we're opening to bring uh, bring the AFC across Canada. Nice. Yeah you guys were supposed to have a show in Moncton coast to coast going coastal and uh, that didn't happen because well, how come that didn't happen? Well it's difficult when we branch out because uh, we're dealing with, with essentially co-promoters right so it's when we do that a lot of uh, a lot of control is out of our hands and uh, you know, it's, it's not an easy thing uh, to do for us to uh, to co-promote. So it, you know, it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit of more, a little bit more time, energy, and effort before we're actually able to expand. But uh, the wheels are in motion. All right. Now talking about the Dragons Den, they're partners with you guys in the company. Is that right? Did they get a cut yeah. of the company for well, their investment? There were two two of the Dragons made offers. Um, you know, again, that was a long time ago. It's been delayed. Uh, our companies continue to grow. We don't really want to give up equity in our company, um, you know. So there's been uh, we're still in, we're still in talks. We're trying to uh, raise funds for uh, for underwriting the events. I mean that's ultimately what's the best for the AFC because we retain the control of our company if we do that. Yeah. So that's uh, that's that's the best way that we can uh, we can operate our, our company, and that's that's how we're trying to do it. And we're still trying to do it with uh, with Robert Hershevik. And uh, when we uh, are in a position to have enough capital behind us, we will be uh, moving into uh, the U.S. venues with uh, Jim Trevor and his company. He was a badass bodyguard. Uh, bodyguard the stars. That's a better story than a share. <laughs> <laughs> if you get into that. David Cudley, well, Nicholas Cage, really? Jessica Alba, Drew Barrymore. No, are you serious? Uh, went on tour with Robbie Williams for two years and, uh, and all over uh, Europe. So yeah, he's, he's got some crazy good stories from all that stuff. Nice. All right. How did you get started doing that? You know, you bodyguard. Know, as as a fighter, you have to uh, you have to supplement your income. <laughs> 
you know, it, it's a it's a tough business. Uh, you know, so I uh, I needed to supplement my income, and I was uh, working security. I, th I found it just worked worked really well. Uh, it didn't require that much energy compared to some of the other you know jobs out there. Uh, I had a lot of uh, training. I, I wanted to be a fireman, uh, so I went through the uh, all of the fireman training. Um, I like guns. I went through all the firearm training, you know, and I, uh, so that I you know, just did all the education that I needed, and then took some, took some uh, bodyguard specific courses, and uh, just well, I was living in LA. I was training in LA, working as a professional fighter, and uh, and, and working as a bouncer as well, and uh, I just kind of fell into the bodyguard bodyguard work from there, and uh, it was great. It was uh, it was a ton of fun. It was a, it was a blast. Yeah. All right. So next Saturday. AFC 5 stacked fight card. If you guys can't see it, there it is. You can check them out on their website, ArmageddonFightingChampionships.com. ArmageddonFC.com. ArmageddonFC.com. When's the next show after that? Do you guys have anything about that? June 18th. June 18th, already have a next show planned. So, how many shows a year can we expect from you guys? Well, Hopefully 20. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take us a while to get there, though. Three in Victoria, and then we'll, we'll be doing more shows other, other than outside of, outside of Victoria this year. All right. So. We wish you guys good luck. I'm not a prosperity in what you're doing. You guys are putting on great shows, so good luck with what you're doing. Thank you so much for the interview. Thanks, man. No problem. Thank you.